Hey, 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 how are we? This is still Saturday. I just did my uh, Mickey and Minnie cupcakes a little while ago, and we're getting ready to do a lilac. I had a lady ask me if I had any lilac in my soaping line. I wouldn't really say soaping line because I don't really sell. Um, so I decided to do actually a little haul from nature's garden if uh, you watched any of my other videos you'll see that I mentioned that I buy was buying um, most of my fragrances from indigo which I thought were cheaper but come to find out they're really not so I did a little mini haul with nature's garden also they are in Ohio so I get these super duper fast and I believe the shipping is a little bit cheaper matter of fact I know it's cheaper than what I pay for when I shop indigo's fragrances so let's show you I got the 8 ounce bite me oh my god it smells so good and that was only 10 bucks guys and this will last me unless I'm doing cakes it'll last at least 8 loaves if not a little less and then we got a Victoria's Secrets dupe sweet pea, another Victoria's Secret dupe uh, passionate kisses, and then I had a friend ask me about lemongrass salt bars, so I'm gonna try those. I've never done a salt bar, but I just got the lemongrass, and then I got the lilac, which is what we're gonna be using today. So there's for my little haul. Um. I'm also going to be piping, and if you remember my video, I'm going to be using my sparkle balls on top of this loaf. So, I'm going to try a butterfly swirl. I've tried once before, it was a super duper fail. Block. I guess I'll try again. Try, try again, right? Isn't that what they say? All right. <clears throat> I'm going to get a little bit of oils out here for my mica. Only color I'm going to use is white and purple. Seems how we are a lilac. That should be enough, but I'm going to get a little bit more. This is how I do mine. I always um, add more oils than what my recipe calls for. I mean, not by much. Maybe 0.10 over what say say my recipe's asking for six ounces in coconut oil I'll put 6.10 in there and and that's not with every single oil I don't do that with I just do it with a couple just to have a little bit extra plus then I know my soap will not be lie heavy if you have a, yeah I might have a softer bar and I might have to wait longer for it to cure but I would rather wait and be safe than sorry for maybe my bar being lie heavy or something so <clears throat> let me warm this up I also want to do I want to show um, explain because I had a lady on Facebook ask me how I do my milk and huh, I don't know how I, <laughs> I try to explain it as best as I possibly could but I don't know if I did all that well so I'm going to try to explain how I do my milk and most of the time I use goat's milk or coconut milk mostly coconut milk because goat's milk just has a funny smell to me I love goat's milk don't get me wrong and I have tried um, cow's milk in one recipe as well and it turned out okay you just got to make sure it is at least at room temperature and your milk is not cold because then it'll shock your soap so Without further ado, let's just get started. I'll get my blender plugged in. I've said a few times I'm not a tutorial. I'm not that's not why I do my videos, but if somebody asks me something, I will at least answer them. Try to answer them in a video and then link them to the video so they can have more of a not really hands-on ex explanation, but uh, I guess it would be kind of a hands-on for me. 
but maybe it explains a little bit better to them. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Again, we're going to add our TD to our lye water. And I don't add that much at all. You don't need that much. Give that a little stir. Hopefully you guys can see this. I've got my phone down a little bit, camera slash phone down a little bit farther than I normally do. I, whoops. And I'm going to hit the charger. So, I'll have you guys bouncing around and feeling woozy here in a minute. I figured I'd try to get a different angle, a closer angle, because I, I watch my own videos and I just, it's hard to see what I'm doing sometimes. So. <laughs> Again, you don't have to mix but maybe 30 seconds. I mean, if you want give or take, well not take actually, do at least 30 sec seconds of mixing. You'll see when your soap gets saponified with the the um, lye. So that turned out pretty white but I might add just a little bit more TD to that because it's still a little bit of a cream color and I want this to be white. I just don't want glycerin rivers. So. And I try to mix as less as I possibly have to. Because the more you mix, the thicker your, your batter will get and the more trouble you're going to have doing any kind of designs or, you know, playing around with it. So. Again, I'm not a tutorial. Uh, I keep bumping my charger. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm about to unplug it, so I'll quit bumping it. I mean, it's like at 80 something percent, so I don't think I'm going to run out of battery no time soon. Okay. Do, do, do. Let me get some water. I need some hot water on this. Because I'll need it to do my piping. Yeah, I had a couple people asking me about some lilac or some lemongrass salt bars, so I'm going to try it on salt bars. I was reading up on them, I think last night. I got kind of a recipe wrote down, but I went to Walmart this morning and totally forgot to get the sea salt. So, won't be making those today. Okay, we're still pretty, pretty fluid, it looks like we're going to get our lilac in here. Now this is not supposed to, it's supposed to be a perfect pour. Not supposed to color, discolor, rice. Um, I don't believe it has any vanilla in it because like I said in my Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse video, I don't, when I buy my, most of the time I just buy on a whim because I want that scent so bad or that fragrance so I just buy it. But most of the time I pay attention if it has vanilla in it, I will not buy it. Because, I, like I said, I refuse to buy vanilla color stabilizer. Okay. Show you how I get my... Well, no, deck now, but I knew I had another spoon. Hold on, y'all. Gotta get me a spoon over here. Whoa. That was way too much on there. I like to watch it because I don't want... Ah, you know what I forgot, you guys? Holy crap, a moly. Okay, I add my milk at Thin Trace. This is Thin Trace. <laughs> my goodness, I almost forgot. Shame on me. So, I wanted to explain, but I don't know. Ah, hold on, let me grab this paper. I mean, it's getting mixed in there. I don't have to have my blender to mix it. I don't like to blend anything extra anyway. So, to the lady who was asking me about my milk and how I do my milk, I use two different websites, one, or two different calculators when I do my soap, or my milk, when I use milk. Um, this time it's coconut milk. But I'll use SoapCal because it'll give you what 
your correct um, water amount supposed to be. Um, you know, the full water amount that you're supposed to use for your lye. And then I'll go, I think it's Summer Bees. I'll go to her site and um, put in my same recipe. And most of the time I use a two pound mold. So mine's based off two pound mold, which is 32 ounces, as you know, and oils. So when I put all my oils in there, it'll give me, on Summer Bee, it'll give me the minimum water amount that I can use for that recipe. So all I do is I take my water amount that I get from Soap Cow, and in this case it was 1174 in water on Soap Cow, and Summer Bees was giving me 1024. So now I have um, about 150 difference. So that is exactly what I do in milk. And that is how I get my milk calculations. So I hope that makes sense to you. I don't know if it will make sense to her or not. <laughs> I need to get to mixing because this is getting a little thick on me. And that is not what I want. It's hard to do. See, that's why I don't do tutorials. Because I'm afraid I'm going to mess up. So let's get my white in here. Yeah, let's get thick, guys. Holy crap. Let me get my other spatula. Shoot. I got thicker than I thought it was going to. Hope you guys can see me here. Almost forgot my milk. Almost forgot this. Almost forgot that. That's why I don't do tutorials. Because I cannot talk and concentrate at the same time. You got a blonde here. I'm only joking. Us blondes are smart. And actually, I'm not really a true blonde, so. <laughs> oh, I got dark brown hair, people. I just act like a blonde sometimes, I guess. One of the blonde moments. There we go. Okay, I gotta get this poured. I wanted to try to do the butterfly swirl, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Let's see. Any other time, my batter don't want to get thick on me. And I'm not going to scent my topping. It's just a little bit of piping. It's not even that much. So, okay, from what I gather, start way uh, up here. You know what? Screw the butterfly. I'm not going to be able to get it anyways, guys. Because <laughs> we're too thick, number one. Number two, I forgot my dang on swirling tool. And I cannot dig it out right now. I do not have enough time with this batter. It's moving pretty fast on me. I thought it didn't. I thought this said it wasn't a fast mover, but I guess it is. And I really hate being a messy soaper. If any of you guys know me, you'll know I hate being a messy soaper. I cannot stand a mess. I think that's part of my OCD. Okay, let me get my swirly stick. I can at least swirl it, right? We can swirl it and make it look party. Well, I kind of need a paper towel here. Let me see where my paper towels are at. What did I do with them? Ah, oh, here they are. So sorry guys, I hate leaving you hanging over here by yourself just looking at a loop like dee 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 dee. I can't believe that. They can dump on me that quick. I guess I was talking a little too much, wasn't I? Okay, now we need to get our piping. I'm going to swirl this in here a little bit more because it was thick and I don't know how far down it went. I don't care what the top looks like because again we're piping. Do some figure eights and a little bit of swirling here and there. Okay. Done playing. Quit playing with your soap, Christina. Okay. Let's see. Now we gotta get our piping top. Get it over here and get it blended. Oh, that lilac smells very good. Smells just like a lilac tree. 
or bush, however you guys want to say it, wherever you're from. Bush, lilac bush, lilac tree. I will reuse that. Okay. Let's see. All right, I'm going to pause you guys, and then I'm going to bring you back for the piping. Okay, guys, we're back. <laughs> it's finally, finally done. Almost there. But um, I also wanted to let you know what color I use. I guess that's only right. It's Orchid Purple by Nurture Soap. And then you already know the TD, so look at my bag full of pipings. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? I got all kinds of them in there. That's so ridiculous. But and I normally use the same one over, but I'm going to use something different this time since I'm not piping cupcakes and I don't have, have to have such a big one. And I also wanted to explain again uh, how I do my milk. Um, and this is just for my recipe, and this is just a little over two pounds, this mold is. <clears throat> this is my purple cheapo mold that I got off of um, Amazon. Well, actually, my husband got for me for Christmas. Um, and I take out the liner and I just line it with the um, freezer paper and then work it whatnot. Because it makes, without the mold thing in there, or the silicone in there, it makes for more soap. I get at least 10, uh, no I want to take that back, 11 bars out of this. But I think I'm cutting it in 10 this time. Who knows. Anyways, as far as my milk goes, um, I use two different, when I use milk, I use two different calculators. The summer bee will give me the minimum amount of water that I need for my lye. As for soap cow, it gives you what you need exactly for your, well I guess the highest, the maximum water percentage you need for, or ounces for um, your lye. So for my recipe here, soap cow told me I needed 11, 40, or 11.74. 11 ounce, 11 ounce, 11 point seven four ounces in water. So when I go over to summer bees, they're telling me my minimum amount that I can use and get away with it is ten point twenty four ounces. So if I take ten twenty four away from eleven seventy four, it's exactly one fifty. So I'm using one point fifty ounces in coconut milk. And I add that at thin trace. But I also make sure that it's at room temp. So, I hope that makes sense to you, hon. I cannot remember her name. I wish I could. For the life of me, I cannot remember. But I need to get this started. So, let's get this party started. I'm just down here with my soap playing around. Ah, I need this other glove. Okay, now I feel right. Oh, come on. Okay. You guys see me too. Get a in here. This is the second time my piping's worked out in my favor. <laughs> Most of the time I'm waiting at least an hour for it to set up, if not more. I mean, the other day I think I waited two hours for my piping to set up. That was just extremely too much time for me. Like, who's got time to wait for piping, you know? The only thing I don't like about using my bags here is sometimes it gets down into my piping tip. And it um, clogs it. So you gotta watch out for that. Okay. Can you guys see me? Yeah. Uh, like I said before, there's no method to my piping. I'm just piping. So I'm gonna try to make it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it some kind of method, but see, that looks like I'm gonna have to have three or four. I don't like that. Okay. I did that all wrong. There we go. Much better. And I'm not trying to get these in between the lines there I got marked. Those are mostly for my embeds. 
so I can um, put my know where to put my embeds. Ooh, that was too much. Good thing that's going to be on the bottom, right? Look how big, bit much bigger that one is. <laughs> That's silly. Oh, you guys can't even hardly see because you're so far up here. See, this is why I try to adjust my camera down lower so you guys can see me better. Because I notice in a lot of my videos that I'm way up there and it's hard to see. All right. Let's see. Um, get the little gaps, I guess. This is cramping my hand. Who would have known? The piping would be so much work. <clears throat> okay. Um, oh my goodness, now I don't know what to do. Oh, two of them, right? We'll just do, stay on the end, and we'll do two, 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 two. There we go. I have to talk to myself sometimes, guys. Or I guess I ain't talking to myself, really. I'm talking to you guys. No, see this? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Looks like I need to add one there. I don't know. No method of my piping. Just ignore me. I just want to put my embeds on. That's all I want to do. Yeah, I'm going to add some at the ends here because they don't look right. No method to my piping, just madness. No method to my madness. Uh. I wish my first couple videos that I had done my blueberry cake, I wish it had come out better because it was such a good cake. It turned out so good. And I've got quite a few views on it. For me, anyway, it's a good view. It's good views, so just starting out here on YouTube that was my freaking charger that moved you guys what in the heck is its problem see I'm just filling any gaps that needs a little bit more <laughs> I'm silly when I pipe I'm silly let's see fill that gap in that gap You guys see anywhere else that I need to pipe? Because I got a little bit left here. Let's squeeze this down. I've already done two soaps today. I'm trying to not to do no more. Because I got all weekend. I got uh, Sunday and Monday as well. Because I don't know if we're going to a cookout Monday for the Memorial Day or not. So. I might be at home bored and want to soap. And I could go to my local tractor supply or a rural king to go get some lye, but I'd rather not because they charge a little bit more than what I usually get it for. But I know I didn't order it for the weekend, so if I run out, then I won't be able to get my lye. <laughs> then I'm gonna cry. Just kidding. Okay. No method, as I said before. All right. Let's spray this alcohol. Woo! Hello. Yellow. Um. Also, I 
I spray it now, and then 24 hours later, I'll spray it again. Ooh. It's making that, look at that, guys. That marker I used. <laughs> Isn't that wicked looking? All right. I'm going to try to use the smaller balls. I made these pretty big. I shouldn't have made them so big. Um, so, crap. This is going to be heavy. I'm smushing down my piping. Crap, you didn't think this one out, Christina. Um, let's see. Holy moly. You know what else? I'm not even going to be able to use my cutter because my cutter is one of the little generic things. And it will mess it up because it's not that high. I'll have to cut this by hand. Oh boy. This is going to be some fun tomorrow. I might actually cut them. <laughs> and not mean to. Like I might accidentally cut the ends of them off and not mean to. Oh well, I tried, right? That's all that matters. Still looks cute. See, those ones are gapped, but these ones are not. And I'm afraid I need some gap here. I need some gap here, soap. At least enough room to put my cutter down. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is all we're getting out of this one probably. Alright then. Well, I'm not following my lines then. I'm following what the soap balls are letting me do. Silly little balls. Okay. Now I'll put some glitter on it. As if I don't have enough glitter on my hands. Woo! Okay. Stop playing, Christina. Okay, let's see. I'm going to put glitter glitter on it instead of that stuff. See, this one's be Hmm. Okay. Oh, well. Let's glitter her away. Anyways, I don't know if I finished my sentence. I, um, 24 hours after I make a loaf, I'll spray her again with, um, it might not be quite 24 hours, because sometimes 24 hours they're ready to be cut, but, um, at least 8 hours into the process, I'll go spray them down again with, um, alcohol. Try to pre prevent more soda ash. I do get lots of soda ash. No matter how much water discounting or alcohol spray I do, I still get tons of soda ash. <laughs> I mean, it's easy easy to remove. It's just time consuming. Who wants to do all that? Not me. Okay. Looks good, guys. Looks good. I waste so much glitter on my counter, it makes me just want to scoop it up and put it in a little safe. No, no, glitters! Come with me, I will save you! Okay, I'm goofy. Let me pull you guys down from here. Sorry, my hand's all up in the... Sorry, I'm making you dizzy. Too many sorries today, guys. Too many sorries. Alright, let me see. This is the way my phone goes. So. Look at it. It's in. Look at my... Marker. Psh. Whatevs, right? Yay! Woohoo! Look at that party -ness. Isn't it so party? Okay, well, there you have it. It's my lilac loaf with piping and ball, sparkled ball and beds. Sparkled. Sparkling. Whatever. It's just a ball of goodness. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. And if you like it, hit the thumbs up or this thumbs up, whichever one you want. And subscribe if you want to see more. Oh, I got two more days like a soap. Oh, it's on, guys. It's on. So stay tuned. Come back for more. I'll be 
putting the cutting up for this one. Um, again, it's Memorial Day weekend 2017, so stay blessed, stay safe, and buckle up. Night all.